welcome back to a new episode of uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 and um, we're gonna continue the story so uh, let's see what's in this body oh two repair kits no use for me <laughs> not a robot after all uh, let's see if I can open it with security yeet I can Oh, a Sonic Carmine. That's pretty handy. Mm, something in his body? Nope. Nothing at all. Uh, a corpse. An energy shield. Always had handy to have. A medical officer. Medkit. Also handy to have. Nothing in this. Oh, this is a broken door. So let's see if I can pl place a mine. Skilled low. That's a shame. Nothing in here. <coughs> so, oh wait, lock terminal. Uh, check administrator. Hold on. Emergency status. This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three. 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. That's interesting. That's really interesting. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... Yeah, but no, he's still floating in that damn tank. <laughs> Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian-loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's... Oh, rip. Fucking rip. Oh. Ah, oh, that explains the dead bodies. Ah, oh, shit, mate. Ah, oh, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> that's really messed up. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, seventeen... Insert the vet to place and holo replay less recorded logs. Click the transmission. Alright, that's interesting. The mining control contains a 5 number flash code to unlock the turbo lift. The flash code symbols are X, XX. If the administration officer was correct, then the first three symbols stand for 3, 17, 13. That means the remaining two numbers are 5 and 7. Interesting. So let's see what hell brings us. Oh, this is another section. Okay, nice. Oh. I guess get wrecked. Okay. Broken lock terminal. Scavenge for console for components. Rip. I hope uh, we could see another holo lock. That would be interesting. Oh. Rakatan band. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I say a little off. I say interesting a lot. Okay, that's that's good to have. It's very good to have. Wait, what's this? A refresher. Mind form. This holo lock looks like it needs to be plugged into a holo reader in order to debug the contents. Wait, so maybe it goes in here. Maybe. Oh, it's broken, so that won't help at all. <laughs> oh, another corpse. Okay, components handy to have. 
nothing here. Oh shit, I won't be able to open this door, I think. Nope. That's a shame. Dock officer. Dock officer lock. This whole lock looks like it needs to be plugged into a holo reader. Enhanced energy cell. Oh, that's for a lightsaber, I think. Repair kit. And another. Oh wait, I already searched this body. Did I search this place? I did, but it's empty. So let's let's see if I can use these holo locks onto the shift ass assignment console. Okay, the comm system crackles to life. Oh, you can hear us. Oh, okay. Remote camera controls. Vessel. Oof, that's a lot of people. Or droid 20. Dormit dormitory west. I've already been there. Don't have any computer spikes, so rip that. These appear to be nothing more than long lists of work assignments with the number of miners available for duty. Okay. Good to know. Ah, uh, not another of those. So now I can level up. Uh, attributes. Strength. Always handy to have. Skill. Yeah, let's get demolitions. A power up. Uh, What do they recommend? Burst of speed. Handy. Would this work? Probably not. Wait. Yep, that doesn't work. So let me... Yeet. And and yeet. I guess not then. Oof. Oof. Oh no. Before I continue attacking this robot, let me save. Oh. Let me place a mine. Haha. <laughs> Get baited. <laughs> Get fucking baited, mate. That's the guy that was stuck in my way. I'm gonna do that later. First, I'm gonna destroy that droid over there. Let me get the remainings. Oh, hello there, robot. Sure, you want to attack me? Boy, 
<laughs> What's this? More robots? No, it's not. Well, it's, it's nice to have. But I don't really want the chemicals. Okay, so let's check his body. Mining laser, sonic pistol, a minor lock. Looks okay. Ooh, damn, that's nice. Ooh, <laughs> juicy. X camera looks. Almost didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you merc lack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes, a regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Narshada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Kurda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity. And then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon, deceased. Oh, hell yeah. Mocking query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbolift codes. In case you managed to get this far. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, what was it again? I forgot. Let me look in the... Three seventeen thirteen and five seven. Three seventeen thirteen seven five. Get yeeted on. Oh, nice. We're up again. Oh hey, it's Kreia. I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Yeah, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Kreia has joined your party. When she's in your active party, her mentor special ability gives everybody a bonus to earned experience points. That's good to have, I guess. Yes. And let's level her up automatically because I'm too lazy. A vibro blade. Why is the music so loud? Let me change it. I guess that doesn't work. Oh, Sif Assassins. Let's 
So let's go to Etten to tell our news. Oh, hello there. I got a new girlfriend. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? <laughs> <laughs> it will take too long to explain. We have to leave now. Uh... Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, your majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. That's an joint your party. Hell yeah. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. <laughs> no, you were clear. I just don't listen to Assassin's words. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Preserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, <laughs> resulting in the termination of hostilities. I fucking love the dialogue of these assassin droids. So, did you kill all the miners? Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I hmm, then gassing them, huh? That sounds familiar. The remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Okay then. I'm tired of listening to you. Prepare to be scrapped. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. But you're the one to die. Oh, shit. So, let's quick save. Let's level up Ethan. And um Yeet. Uh oof. Fuck. Get the boy. Why is he so bad with two swords? Wait, let me edit that for a minute. None. That's better. That's better. I will silence this one. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's handy to have. Really handy. You'll see why it's handy. Like, later in the game. Oh. Well, that's not where I'm supposed to go. But, um... What is it? Let's go. Hmm, this is, this is really interesting. Uh, this is uh, the wrong place. Okay, yeet, let's go. Harbinger, Harbinger, I don't know. So, 
Does she have any powers? Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. Yeah, no you shit. sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Maybe you like it back in yourself. Maybe I would. At least I was safe there. We cannot go back into the facility. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. <laughs> I saw the vessel dock when it did a fuel pipe and the fuel depot behind the force field. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Why don't we still oh, this Oh, you mean with the huge crew we brought along with us? That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Wait, how did the uh, Harbinger get the orbit? drift charts it would need to dock here. well of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their nav computer they'd have to so let's get their codes then then we can worry about reaching the Evan well, Hawk we'd have to get to the bridge I mean well that's the biggest problem I can see that is a sound plan for the moment let us go now you know that you have a party certain actions and dialogue responses will increase or decrease your influence with your companions depending on their personalities some respect cruelty while others may respect nobility loyalty and cleverness brute force and so on the higher you your influence with your companion the more you alignment affect theirs an extreme high and low influence with a companion can open up additional dialogue options there are benefits to both, so treat them as you will. Our enemies gather while we wait here. Forgive me, Kray, I was distracted for a moment. Yeah, no shit. I'll be more mindful. Watch the tone of woman, I will not be lectured by you. <laughs> and this plan was a good one. Let's head to the rich and get the drift charts. Alright. But this won't end well. Trust me. Yeah, no shit. Influence gained. Oh, that's nice. Credits. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a broken door. Oh, hello there. Sith assassin. Where that came from? More where that came from? Let's go for here. Hmm. Briefing room console. Check briefing box. We've been diverted from Onderon to the outer rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Andron will have to wait. Okay. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within two standard days, mm. provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic level priority, whether he knows it or not. Distress signal. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. 
That seems like a dumb decision. I wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course. Hey, Captain. that's Carf. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want Carf you to Carf or something. The ID signature on the freighter. Did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our data banks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. Ah, I was right. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I am always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Ah, uh, that's why. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's where the droid came from. Apparently the Republic knew of your exiled status and they had sec secretly been monitoring you on the vessel. They even assigned the HQ protocol droid to watch you, which is probably how we discovered your presence in the first place. Okay, interesting. Oh, hello there, Sif Assassin. Time to even the odds. That's my. That's my Jedi clothing, right? Uh huh. That's my Jedi clothing. Yeet. That's dope. Damn thing's stuck. Shut the fuck. You need the asteroid drift charts. That's cool, I have my own clothes now. Okay. So... So... Y this is where the... Oh. This is where the bridge is, I think. No, that is escape pods. So... We need to go back. Oof. Oh, nice. Down the orbital. All right, let's go. No need to go to the other place because I don't see any use to it. All we need is the orbital drift charts, and we'll be able to get off. So let's open the door. Oh, crew crawl, crew quarters, quarters. Shit, man, my English would be bad today. So these are quarters. So let's hope there's some shit in it. Credits. Well, that seems useless. So, oh, my quarter, quarters. Fuck. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, I need a second. This was my room. Hold on. This was my this room. This was your room. When? One of us on board the hard We do not have Binger. much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. Hell yeah. Oh, that's my armband. That is actually Pim the Dragon data pad. Pin the Dragon, you are requested to report to the Harbinger 
medical bay for routine examination. The routine is autom automated. Simply insert this data bed into the medical computer to receive your injections. That seems shady, not just kidding. So now we got a bloody armband. Seems a bit weird smashing into a metal door, but okay. Like with a lightsaber, you can just stick it in there. Okay, energy shield. Oh, hello there. Let's have a little talk, shall we? Public soldier. Credits, okay. Corpse for a public soldier. There's a lot of dead bodies on the ship. This blaster is magnetically sealed. Okay. Time to even the odds. They legit just attack me, but okay. Let's level them up. Let's see. Four screen. What? It's not a r really a useful power. So, uh, let's see. Mind trick is not. Nah. Mind trick stun. Let's use. No, 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 no. Let's do force push. Or even better, stun is good. So. Let's go this way then, since there's nothing at the other side. Medical bay door. Ah, oh, something jumped out of there. Medical console. Check treatment request, pin the dragon. Pin the dragon treatment request. Sedatives administered during routine examination 3.5 days ago. Emergency override enacted. Dosage exceeds safety protocols. During your last medical exam, you were administered a delayed sedatives that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered your unconscious when the harbinger was taken out. It, it looks as if someone forgot to look out the treatment request once administered. We still have access to one of the culture tanks in the medical bay. Okay. Check medical logs. Sith wreckage report. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Sith survivor. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred. It's science. And I'm registering right. several thousand fractures of his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, and then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Emergency broadcast. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. 
And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that Oof. thing in the tank was a Sith Lord. Alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. That's fucked up. Check camera recordings. Oh yeah, that's dark sign. He's waking up. He's basically using the force now. He's running away. That's cool. That's that's cool. Attempt to get chemicals from Spencer Chemicals to spend. Now are you found recordings of the medical treatment on the vessel? It was not long after the treatment that you fell unconscious. You were most likely drugged. While you were being administered to medical treatment after that you were taken off the ship by the Ebon Hawk. But someone must have carried me from the Ebon Hawk, right? Like it seems like nothing I can do for the droid to be honest. Hello there. Okay, so, so these two need to be leveled up. Uh, let's get Adam to do this. Oh, this is just a storage room. Not really in need of little stuff. Got all the shit I need. Turbo lift. Okay, let's go. Engine dock, huh? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Just shut up and keep moving. What's wrong? Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. Well, we'll have to be careful then, but we have to keep moving. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. To sense anything that places him at risk, when he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. I'll do that then. But uh, that's basically suggesting that he's a Jedi, since he can sense bad shit. So he's basically a Jedi, right? Hello there, dark sign. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. Where did you get the fibro blade from? He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. All right, boys. I'm ended here. So, uh. See you in the next episode. Yeet. Goodbye.